Hi everyone, it's Mari. Welcome back to my channel. I have a process I wanted to share with you here today that I actually created for Patreon. This is a much sped up video. It actually is, this video is an hour and 45 minutes in length over on Patreon. So this is a really abbreviated version, but I wanted to share it over here because I thought you might really be inspired by this or might enjoy watching what I did here for this project. So I have a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock on my uh, table. It's cut to 11 by 11. And my idea today was to create a layout that kind of looks like a combination of travel journal, uh, travel art journal, and scrapbook layout. So what I am going to do here is I've t I took my iPhone and I went on to Pinterest and I looked for some inspiration of you know, projects that people have done where they have sketched out scenes or places that they've been in their travel uh, journals. And I really like that look. I think it's really cool. And the three photos that I'm scrapbooking here are of a trip that my son and I took to Paris a few years ago. And these are photos that I took at Versailles. And so I wanted to sketch out kind of some of the scenes from these three photos. So the first photo is at the gates. So what I did was I went on to Pinterest and I found a picture that had something that I could use as a reference for sketching out the gate because the photo is a ways back from the gate. You can't actually, you know, see all the details and I wanted to figure out how to draw that. So here you can just see I'm sketching out something that I, I found on Pinterest as a reference, like I said, and I'm just roughly, obviously, I'm not a, an amazing sketch artist. I'm just really roughly drawing this in, sketching it in, and then I'm going to watercolor paint over top of the sketching. The cool thing about that is you, you will be able to see the, the lines, and that's one of the, the neat things about watercolor is you can you actually can paint over top of your pencil marks if you want and it kind of adds to the appeal of the piece of art and so that's what I was going for here so this is my my uh, drawing of the main gate at Versailles which was recreated because during the French Revolution I think the the original piece that was there basically was destroyed or mostly destroyed anyways and so they recreated that and restored it and covered it with all of this gold leaf and it's absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to paint this in with some yellows, kind of yellow and gold tones. And I'm going to actually paint a little bit of a border around each one of the sketches that I'm going to do here. I'm going to paint a little bit of gray paint around the each of the three areas of drawings to kind of like be a frame around each one of those little sketches. So I am using, um, these are the, the little uh, Prima uh, paint boxes. And the ones I'm using here are the classic and the tropicals. And I'm just using the gray from the one set there. And I've, what I've done is added water to my Bristol smooth cardstock. And now I'm just going in with my silver brush here to drop in that gray paint in the wet areas on my paper. The great thing about the Bristol Smooth cardstock is it will take a little bit of water. It's it's not a watercolor paper per se, but it will take a bit of water without destroying it. So um, I'm not I'm not doing a whole lot of work in these different areas. I'm just adding a little bit of water and then dropping in the color in that way just to give the impression of the the gate. And then the photo is going to go beside that area where the gate is, so the, air, the photo that's of us by the gate, and so on and so forth. And so that was the idea behind what I wanted to do for this layout. It's very different. It's, um, you know, it's a different kind of idea, but I just think for a travel layout, it's a really cool idea of how you can create something a little bit different. It's it's not your sort of like average run of the mill kind of thing. You might be able to find a uh, patterned paper that actually has um, kind of images of Paris on it, 
or images of different parts of wherever it is that you're traveling to. But I just thought this was neat to create my own. Now, the picture on Pinterest that I was looking at also had a scripty word Versailles um, on it. And I just freehanded this. I didn't trace it. I just freehanded it with my pencil and then I uh, went over it with a Sharpie. And now I'm just going to fussy cut that out. And that's going to be the title for the corner of my project here where that gate is. I will make sure that I go back over to Pinterest and pin the, the drawing that I used here for reference. Um, so if you don't follow me on Pinterest, I usually link that up in the follow me section in the description box below. And so you can check out... Um, what I used for that and I think I'll probably pin it to my art journal board so uh, you can find it there anyway so now I have fussy cut that out and I am just showing you here I'm going to add the dot to the eye or the tittle as it's called uh, with just with a hole punch and get that dot on there now I'm just showing you here there's that photo that's going to match up with that area I did actually reprint my photos so that they're smaller because the original photos size that I had was going to be too big so I've trimmed the white border down off of my three photos and resize and I will be resizing those other two as well but what I'm just doing here is figuring out where I want the next little sketch. And the next little sketch is going to be of the main fountain that's part of the main garden behind the Grand Trianon at Versailles. And I had a picture of that. That's one of the pictures on this layout. And so I'm just going to sketch that in and then it's going to kind of show the, the forest behind or it's you know beyond the Grand Trianon that's all part of the gardens it's such a beautiful place if you ever have a chance to travel to Versailles if you but for sure if you're ever in Paris you have to go to Versailles it's just um it's an amazing place I have never seen anything like it it's it's pretty cool so definitely check it out now here in this section I am drawing out the kind of like a little map of the the gardens with the the main lake and you can actually this is the little lake, lake that you can boat on and so on and then out to the sides of that are all of these little gardens that you can walk in that have like other little you know focal points to them so that's what I'm I've uh, drawn kind of that's going to be down at the bottom and now you can see I'm going through that same process to paint the other two drawing areas so just going around the border of the uh, drawing with the gray paint again and now I'm just going in and you know painting the details so a little bit of blue sky I'm going to put some clouds there a little bit of trees in the background and then the little fountain with a water feature around it and the little walkway and I really like how this turns out it's it's super sketchy and super um, rough and distressed looking but that's what I wanted so I'm going to take a Stampers Anonymous uh, st stamp here and I am going to link up down below the things that I have used here but I I'm going to do some third generation stamping here so that means that I inked it up with that VersaFine Claire Morning Mist ink and then I stamped off twice before I stamped it onto my paper because I want it to be really faint and I want it to just kind of be like distressed in the background right so now what I'm going to do is take that stamp and I'm going to add that up to the corner on the right side just off the paper a little bit and this is just going to add some really cool distressing to the the area where I've got that drawing and I just think this looks really cool I'm going to take another Stampers Anonymous stamp and add that to the bottom of the layout on the on the right and now I'm just going to start to map my photographs and I'm using uh, Vicki Booten's Let's Wander to embellish my layout here you can see that butterfly at the bottom don't worry about all these hand motions it's because I'm you know I'm on Patreon and I I did this real time over there so I didn't cut anything out um, it's a really super long video over there but um but anyways, uh, so that's why I'm moving my hands around like that. So just taking a bunch of different bits and pieces from the Let's Wander die cut and ephemera packs, the tag packs. I mean, Vicky has a lot of really cool uh, embellishments as part of this collection. And it's perfect for this. The colors are perfect. Um, it's the perfect collection for this layout and I'm just going to go ahead and trim down all of these little pieces or tuck them in behind the photos and layer them with some foam adhesive and so on I do use my distressing tool 
Um, this is my old Stampin' Up! one. You can also get these from Ranger. And I'm going to just like, you know, distress that up. And I'm going to use actually some uh, vintage photo distress ink and a distress ink uh, blending brush to add a little bit of color and distressing further to the edges of those different little pieces I'm using to embellish my three photo areas. Sorry about that little splotch of um, sunlight coming through my light there or my window I should say. I'm taking these three little chipboard stars from the Let's Wander collection and putting those on each of my little cluster areas. Now I want to do a little bit of splattering on my layout as well. So I'm going to go back with that watercolor, um, that gray that I've used already on the project. I'm going to water that down and I'm just going to splatter that on. I've got my photos and the um, printing that I've added, the journaling that I've added with my gel pen covering that all up so that it doesn't um, get covered or damaged in any way by the watercolor paint. And I'm just going to splatter on with my watercolor brush. The two watercolor brushes that I'm using here are a number six and a number two silver black velvet watercolor brushes. So they work really well for what I wanted to do here. Now I am going to go ahead and add more little chunks and pieces and staples to those photo mat areas. You won't see me do that on camera, but I am going to um, show you in this next section, which is some slow down real time, <laughs> just where I'm going to show you all the details up close of the project. I really like how this turns out. It's a different technique. I think it's a really cool way where um, travel art journaling, traveler's notebook art journaling can meet a 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout. Um, you do not have to be an artist to do this. It's really sketchy, but it's, it's really fun. And it's just some really loose watercoloring that was super fun to do. I had so much fun doing this and I'm just showing you again how I just added a few more little distressed pieces of paper, stapled them into the side there, used that vintage photo distress ink to um, add a little bit of color and distressing even to the photographs. I've even taken the photos and kind of like curled up the edges of them and added a little bit of that distress ink to them as well just to make them kind of look a little distressed. I've added a yellow cardstock um, uh, mat to the outside edge of my white paper and then a pattern paper from Vicky Booten Let's Wander for the final mat. I did stitch with my sewing machine around the outside edge of that white paper and the layouts finished. I added a few little st uh, phrase stickers from Let's Wander like I was there to the top photo and always be curious to the bottom right photo and the layout is done and I really like how this turned out. Um, I did not include any still shots at the end, I don't think, um, at this point, but I will go ahead and pop those in so that you can see up close. So stay tuned right to the very end and I will have some still shots. Thanks so much, guys. Have an amazing day and I'll see you again.